classmates and negative side. First of all, I would like to start by thanking you for acknowledging the fact that the supposedly meaningless things that we are making up, the meaningless statistics on lost lives, are also true. So thank you for acknowledging that. Um, and I would also like to point out the fact that the negative said we would like to bring up a new argument, which is against the rules of debate. So I would encourage you to disregard that most recent statement but from the negative. Further, um, we don't mean, to, we feel like um, our intentions are being somewhat misrepresented. We don't mean to devalue the military. Military is important. Uh, but why are we willing to spend money to save and better lives overseas, but we sh si shy, sorry, was shy away from doing so here? And while 24th does comparatively seem rather high, we really aren't in the top percentile. We're only ranked above three other first world countries, Spain, Greece, and Portugal, and we are projected to fall. Um, I also... It's also interesting that they keep stressing the need for education. And I would like to point out that spending on education and spending on transportation infrastructure do not have to be mutually exclusive. Just because we are spending money to better lives and to create jobs, it does not mean that we cannot further educate our citizens and um, help board job creation and help grow the economy. Um, in Investment is a risk, but failed infrastructure and the loss of life is the only definite alternative. America's leaky infrastructure roof needs patching, and I don't think it suits us to be idle. Our plan to substantially increase America's investment in transportation infrastructure can both save and better lives. Investment, um, fixing this glaring issue is your choice. Plugging the leak is your prerogative. Thank you, and vote for